Hello guys, myself Amrita. Welcome back to our channel TechnoSage. So in today's video, we are going to discuss lead code problem number 2068 that is check whether two strings are almost equivalent. So let's get started. Let's first understand the problem. Two strings word 1 and word 2 are considered almost equivalent if differences between the frequencies of each letter from A to Z is at most so in the example you can see we have been given two strings word 1 and word 2 and we need to check whether both are equivalent. If both are equivalent then we need to return true otherwise we need to return false. So how we are going to check whether they are equivalent? We have to check the frequency of each letter from A to Z and that frequency's difference should be at most 3. So in the example you can see there are 4 A's in word 1 and there is no A in word 2. So frequency of A in word 1 is 4 and in word 2 it is 0. So 4 minus 0 it is 4. But it should be at most 3. So that means it is not equivalent. So then we need to return false. So in another example we can see. Uh, let me write this and we can see what is the difference between the frequencies. So let's take this example. The string S1 is a, B, C, D, E, E, F and another string word 2 or you can say S2 it is A, B, A, 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 C, C. So basically the length of both the strings will always be same. It is mentioned in the problem and now let's check the difference of the frequencies. So let's first check frequency of letter A in word 1 that is 1 because it is occurring only once and in string 2 it is 1, 2, 3, 4. It is 4. So the difference is 4 minus 1 that is 3. So that means for A it is equivalent. Let's check the another string B. B has 1 and in string 2 B is also occurring once. So 1 minus 1 is 0. So the difference is not greater than 3. Check another letter C. C is occurring once and C is occurring 2 times. So the difference is 2 minus 1 that is 1. Right? And then you can check D. D is occurring once and D is occurring 0. So the difference is 1 minus 0 that is again 1 is occurring 2 times and 0 times. So the difference again is 2 which is not greater than 3. And then we have F. F is occurring once and F is occurring 0 times in another string. So 1 minus 0 is 1. So basically the frequency difference for all the characters are not greater than 3. So that means these two strings are equivalent. We can return true. Right? How we are going to find the difference of the frequencies? So for that, let me first remove this. So to find the frequencies of each letter in both the strings, what we will do? We are going to take one array. Let's take a frequency array having all the alphabets from A to Z. So we can say length of this array would be 26 since we have 26 alphabets and it would be 0, 1, 2 up to so on till 25 and by default the frequency of each letter would be 0. Now we will take string 1 first and we will take the frequency of each letter. For example when we are going to scan the string S1 we will take letter A we will update the frequency of letter A as 1. So how do we update the frequencies using sky values? As we know for each alphabet we have sky values from A to Z starting from 97, 98 up to so on 122. So basically what do we need to do? We need to do CH minus A. So CH that means character. So what is the character here? A. Character A minus character A which would be 97 minus 97, which would be 0. So that means at the 0th index, you need to update the frequency as 1. Now move on to the next character that is B. So now we have to find B minus A. So B is 98 minus A is 97. So it will come as 1. So that means at, at first index, you can update the frequency as 1 again. And for C, similarly 1, for D, 1, for E, it would be 2, right? Once it will be updated here and then again we need to update the frequency. So, it will become 2 and for F, the frequency will be 
one, right? So now we have updated the frequencies of each character of string S one. After this, you have to update the frequencies of S two as well. So we have to find the difference. So what we are going to do will count this time. So when you found A, what you will do? You will say it is frequency is one. So you can say one minus one. So it becomes zero. Again, B one minus one, it becomes zero. Now three times A will come, right? Zero minus one, minus one, minus two, minus three. So that means the count is minus three now for A. Then for C, two times you have to do minus one. So for C, it is one. One minus one is zero, and zero minus one is minus one. So this is basically the difference of the frequency. Correct. So now you will take the absolute value since it is coming in minus three. You will take the absolute value which is three. And one in this case. So now you will scan this array and you will check whether any value, any absolute value is greater than three. It is not greater than three. It is equal to three. That means both the strings are equivalent, and you can return true. So this is how we need to solve this problem. Now let's write the solution for it. So now this is our class equivalent strings. Now let's write a method that would be public static boolean since it is going to return true or false. Let's take the name as equivalent strings, and we have to pass two strings. That is word one and word two. String word two. Now, firstly, we have to find the length. So that would be, you can take any string's length because the length of both the strings would be same, right? And now let's take a new array. Let's take the array as frequency array, which will have length as twenty six. And now we have to update the frequencies. Let's write the loop for that. And loop should run till the length of the array i plus plus. And then we need to update the count. So that would be frequency at one dot caret i minus letter a, right? And we have to increment the count in this case. And for word two, that would be word two dot caret i minus a minus minus, right? Because in this case, we have to decrement the count so that we can find the difference for frequency of each letter. And once we updated the frequencies of each letter for string one and string two, we are going to scan the frequency array i less than. Twenty six i plus plus, and then we need to check our condition that if value is greater than three, then we need to return false. Otherwise, we need to return true. But we need to take the absolute value. So that would be math dot abs frequency at index i. If it is greater than three, then we need to return false. Otherwise, we need to return true. Right now, let's take the both the strings. String word one, A B C D E F, and string word two, A B A A A C C. Right now, let's call our function. Let's write our print statement to call the function and to see the output. Equivalent strings word one comma word two. Now let's run the program and see the output. So the output is. true because both the strings are equivalent and the difference of the frequencies of each letter is not greater than 3 let's take another example to test it so we can take this first example string 1 and string 2 that is b c c b let's run the program and see the output so the output in this case is false because these two strings are not equivalent So this is how we need to solve this problem. If you have any questions, any doubts, please let me know in the comment section and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you for watching.